everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Honda HR-V. Now today's video isn't about this car at all but it is about the German Grand Prix, the Hockenheim Grand Prix and you may be wondering why am I in a Honda and discussing about a German because if you are following Honda or if you're following the Formula One then you would know that it's very much related with the performance that the Honda and that Honda did during the, the race. Now, let's let's start going over the race, starting from the, uh, the the race day and before that the practice session. So, right from the practice one, two, and three, Ferraris were pretty dominating, especially Vettel, which was his home race, and also Charles Leclerc and behind him were mercedes and the red bulls but pretty much everything was going smooth till the practice session three and then came the qualifying now qualifying disaster struck for the ferraris especially vettel in q1 where he had a, a, a turbo issue as a result of which he could not get all the power and he had to retire from the qualifying meaning he was the 20th and he did not even set the time so that was pretty much it and then through different sessions up till q3 while the mercedes were obviously through the red bulls were through even renault were doing pretty well and the alfa romeo but in q1 in uh, i'm sorry in q3 the 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 ferrari of charles leclerc had also gotten a problem now the problem wasn't discussed but then there was obviously some issue which was hindering the performance of the car and that is why Ferrari decided not to go for the Q3 session and that meant that Charles was Q P10 and Sebastian Vettel was P20. Now that meant the Ferraris were in the midfield and at the back but because of this Red Bulls were pretty strong after that in terms of their performance. Now. Max Verstappen qualified second while Hamilton came on the pole position and Bottas was third, Gasly was fourth and then the, the grid just continued. While P1, P2 and the P3, the practice sessions were pretty much on the dry run but there was always a, a problem that there may be a chance of rain during the qualifying or during the race but then during the qualifying, it didn't really rain at all. There were no spots of rain, nothing. Everything went smooth. So there came the race day and it was already raining. And there was forecast for another hour of shower during the race while the next hour was supposed to be dry. Now, as a result of this, and I don't know why there are some, some safety rules that because of which they can't start from the, the standstill. So... The, the stop start system from the grid but then the safety car was deployed right from the first lap now initially there was a confusion as well as to was this really a safety car period or were, were, the, were the laps going to be counted or not but then eventually the laps were counted and it was the race was reduced from 67 laps to 64 laps as a result of going three laps behind the safety car as a result of this it was 64 lap race and then there was a proper race start from the standstill and everyone was ready to go now at the race start during the start Verstappen had a pretty bad one and as a result of that his car did not have any traction in fact both the Red Bulls did not have any traction and as a result they just fell behind up to seventh place Max fell behind up to seventh place while Kimi Raikkonen had a rocket start he just went up to third and at one point he was also going to challenge Bottas as well he was doing a fantastic job now ju just while it was pretty wet everyone went with the wet tires initially because no one knew what the grip levels were and it was pretty much an unknown region all the cars were in so they started off with uh, everyone started off with the wet tires and in the, uh, on the third lap uh, 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 Perez uh, spun out and then that meant there was a safety car period and then this this is when 
everyone went for a pit stop and everyone came out with intermediates. So everyone had pretty much a free stop and everyone came out on intermediates. And pretty much the race was continuing while on lap 13, Daniel Ricciardo retired again. A lot of people start, took, took an advantage of that and then they took a free stop. Even Charles Leclerc went inside and they thought like maybe the, the soft tires were enough to be, uh, were, were, were like suitable for the track and ready to be tried on. So he went on the softs, Bottas went on the, on the softs, but Red Bull decided that Max Verstappen should go on the medium compound. Now that was a quite a wrong call. Now, that meant pretty much if soft tires were not heating up, medium tires were finding it even difficult to heat up. And then that is the reason why uh, Max was pretty much suffering because of that low grip levels. He actually spun like a 360 complete, went out of control, went 360. And then he again rejoined the track safely. But again, he was complaining over the radio that the, 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 the tires were absolutely wrong. And Red Bull also admitted later on that it was the wrong choice. Anyways, again, there was another... Uh, I, I, yeah, this time it was Charles Leclerc. And he just went... Because of the, the, the soft tires, there was literally no grip. And at the end of the t turn 14 at the drag strip, he just went straight and missed his braking spot. His car was twitchy. He lost the back end and he went straight into the drag strip at the start. And then there was pretty, it was pretty slippery and he just went into the barriers and his race was over. But till that moment, Ferrari were pretty good with his strategy because he was bang on with all of his strategies and they were doing so well. They were doing absolutely amazing. But then Charles just lost it and then that was pretty much it and then at that point of time again the teams went inside and decided to have another go with their tires so again max went got in the soft tires uh, i'm sorry the intermediate tires again bottas went in but mercedes decided to keep hamilton out for another lap now that lap costed him a lot now during the same time as the stewards were the marshals were clearing the the car of charles charles car Hamilton spun off again at the same very corner, just as the safety car was about to come out. And at that point of time, Hamilton spun and then he broke his front wing, left side of it, and also a bit of carbon fiber on top, which is on the chassis, and a lot of things. And this was just before the pit, so he just crossed the boulevard, uh, which was a little unsafe. And then later on, he was penalized five seconds for that. But then that was pretty much it. His race was pretty much destroyed after that. And that meant that Max Verstappen was gaining ground. Max Verstappen was in the lead. So the racing point now what did a very clever strategy. Now, when, Hulk when Hulkenberg was also into up to fourth by this time, and then he decided to stay out and Hulkenberg was in fourth and also was going to go into the third position and then that's when disaster happened for the Renault as well and then he just slipped out and went into the barriers and beached himself so the German driver was out in front of his home crowd and and that meant his race was over again a lot of teams took an advantage but so Racing Point took the advantage of this and they decided to take a very drastic step and that is which was pretty much a gamble but it did pay off really well so they decided just before Hulkenberg was uh, before he crashed they put stroll on the soft tires by this time we were one hour into the race and the strip had already started drying a lot of teams started switching but stroll was the first guy and then when Hulkenberg incident happened the other team started to jump on that as well but this meant Stroll had covered a lot of ground and even Kwiat out of nowhere he was 14 and then because he had he was also on the soft tires he was on uh, the 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 third position now Stroll was second Kwiat was third uh, while Max was first but then Stroll was obviously going to struggle later on in his race and then that's what was was happening and then by this time, even Vettel had started to gain ground because of all the all the chaos that was going on in the midfield. And then 
he was by by then he was p8 and then this was the last phase of the race which was so exciting kwiat was p uh, p2 stroll was p4 and vettel was p5 now we had five laps in our hand and because there was another incident where uh, i think um who went off i don't remember i i think it was probably the hulkenberg incident where this happened but so while this all this chaos happened uh, 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 we were into last five laps and we were ready to go now vettel was on his soft fresh set of soft tires and he was on a charge he took once the race started we were four laps to go after that he just overtook uh stroll first and then later on another lap he took kwiat as well and we were just two laps to go and by then he was p2 now this guy had an incredible race now all this while max was p1 and no one even noticed that but he was p1 and he had done an amazing job and by then yes so the incident that happened was bottas just five laps to before he was chasing down stroll and bottas actually hit uh his 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 left tire onto the damp patch and then that was pretty much it his he just lost the control and went straight into the barriers damaging his car and the race was over and this is when the safety car came out and again a lot of teams went in and put in soft tires again a free stop for everyone you will be stunned to know how many pit stops were 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 performed during the entire race i'm going to go come to that as well max was first Kvyat was second, Stroll was third, uh, fourth uh, was um, Vettel. Yes, fourth was Vettel, and fifth was Carlos Sainz. Now McLaren again did a splendid job with their strategy, and as a result, again Carlos Sainz was P5 and he finished P5, while Lando Norris had retired during the the first uh, fourth fourth lap. uh no not not the fourth lap i think it was the seventh lap where he had an engine issue and he just retired now in uh, in the last five laps it was chaos it was vitel overtook stroll and then he overtook kwiat into p2 and that was pretty much the race result and then the the whole race was so chaotic it was pretty difficult to to just keep up with what was going on because there were too many incidents going on there were too many tire changes again Do you know how many tire changes were done during the race by all the teams in total it was 78 pit stops 78 and an average of 6 pit stops per team and that was pretty insane because let's be honest 6 stops 6 stops for a team is pretty unusual and the mechanics did their job so well and so the there were like quite a bit, quite a lot of drivers of the day but then there were top 5 which i would like to mention first was max because he was as usual very good with his race and he kept his cool and as a result he got the the result second was vitel what a drive a stunning drive and a proper champion material drive from p20 to p2 and having the hope that he can do it we had for toro rosso because again this was their third win of the entire career as a team as a toro rosso team in their history this was their third win and stroll for being fourth and and racing point for having an absolutely amazing strategy for him after that it was carlos science and he has been doing such a great job in the mclaren because they have been doing uh, putting up a constant show of being around p5 and p6 or p7 and they ha- they are achieving those results constantly which is so good and so happy for them as well and after that the two alfa romeos finished 7th and 8th and 9th and 10th position was uh, filled by Haas of Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen obviously they also had a bit of a scrap in between anyways that was pretty much the race result but then eventually alfa romeos were again disqualified from their positions because of a rule where there was a clutch issue right before the start and there's an article which which 
which you can go and read. I'm going to mention the article number as well. So they were disqualified as a result, which meant that Hamilton finished P9 and Williams of Robert Kubica came in P10. And that was their first point of the season. I am so happy for Williams. Finally, they got a much deserved result. And to sum this up, I think the race was such an interesting one. It was the best by far. I mean, last three races have been so good, but then this race was the best out of three. And I think we need more and more of the the wet races. And if you don't, if you do, if you don't have rain, then just put water on the track and make these races interesting like this. Because let's be honest, six stops and so many crashes. I mean, I feel bad for the crashes, but six stops. That was pretty amazing. That is pretty much it for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come. Until we meet next time. Bye-bye.